have had a long-standing interest in identifying therapeutic targets for some of the most aggressive forms of lung cancer. Uh, small cell lung cancer is the most aggressive form of lung cancer. And it happens to about one out of every 10 people who are affected with lung cancer. So almost 30,000 Americans die every year from small cell lung cancer and an estimated quarter million deaths happen worldwide. So as you can imagine, it is a major public health problem. Small cell lung cancer is characterized by very rapid development of uh, drug resistance, early metastasis, and exceptional lethality. Um, while there is no single cause of small cell, it has been highly correlated with smoking. That's one of the most uh, characteristic features of this disease. Uh, one of the main characteristics and also limitations of small cell lung cancer is that it's an extremely rapidly growing disease and it spreads throughout, throughout the body very, very fast. And due to the nature of this cancer type, the prognosis for small cell lung cancer has been historically very, very poor. It's one of the hardest cancers to treat, actually. And for patients with advanced uh, small cell lung cancer, we see only a two-year survival rate to be less than 5% and an overall survival rate of less than a year. So when small cell lung cancer is diagnosed, due to it being aggressive and already, and already metastasized at that point, surgery is not an option. So patients have to be put into systemic therapy and almost immediately. Uh, for almost 35 years, I think since 1985, uh, the only standard of care that we had for small cell lung cancer was with platinum-based chemotherapy. And the patients uh, did initially respond to this therapy, but the response was very short-lived and almost all patients had drug resistance and they relapsed. And the disease comes back. When it comes back, it's very aggressive and uh, it's very hard to treat at that point. For the last couple of years, I would say since 2019, we have seen a real shift in the standard of care for small cell lung cancer. The current FDA approved standard of care frontline treatment for small cell lung cancer is immunotherapy with antibodyl one to the chemotherapy backbone. And the current second line treatment includes uh, lorbinectidine with topotecan or inotecan. So this is the current landscape for small cell lung cancer. Uh, those uh, PDL1 is added to the chemotherapy backbone, as I mentioned mentioned as a standard frontline treatment, the benefit is really very modest. So it only adds about a couple of months to the median overall survival. But it's a real shift, but there is a scope for so much improvement because there is a very modest benefit towards the improvement of median overall survival.